Hey! Hello hatchlings! Uh, welcome to Flower Dragon Vlogs, I am Jocelyn and today I'm going to be doing a haul video. Now I know it's <laughs> currently 2020, but this haul is from stuff that I got in 2019 for my birthday and for Christmas. So I'll show you my birthday stuff first. I just left it this long because I just like, kept forgetting to do it and Julian was the one that said I should do the birthday thing and I never did it. But I still have all the stuff so <laughs> I guess I'll show you. So I'll show you the birthday stuff first. So this is like, um, I was even mainly money so it was just stuff that I was like that I bought myself with that money. Except Julian got me a bunch of My Little Pony stuff but I cannot for the life of me remember what it was. Uh, so if you want to see a My Little Pony collection tour, a lot of that stuff Julian got me. If you want to see that video make sure you like this one because there is a lot of My Little Pony stuff that I have. <laughs> like a lot. And I wouldn't really say most of it but I would say that you got me like a good 30% extra of like 30% 30%? 30% extra of what's there. You got me some like, I would say 30% because it looks like you got me more but it's only because the stuff is bigger. Yeah. Most of the like ponies are like my own stuff. Yeah. And you got me a lot of the like um like collectible stuff like not my little ponies but like yeah. the like merchandise? The Merch bigger, merchandise? The bigger, the bigger ones. Um yeah. Yeah, and you, I only had what well, I only had two of those, didn't I originally? Yeah, yeah, I had the blue one and the pinky pie one. Anyway, <laughs> moving on from yeah, but if you want to see the My Little Pony um, collectible tour thing, where I'll talk about like all the stuff that's in there and how I got it and stuff, then yeah, like this video and I'll make it. <laughs> Here's Beerus, come to come to join us, apparently. <laughs> And then, then, you know, you want to record a video and they just want to be a part of it too. So this is this is my little family. This is Julian. This is Salem. And this is Beerus. This is Beerus's butt. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll do the birthday stuff first. So I turned 30 in 2019. Yeah, 30? Yeah. That was my 30th. It was. The big 3-0. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 29. For some reason I got ahead of myself and I thought I was 31. I'm 31 this year. This new 2020. So in 2019 I turned 30. So I'll show you. I bought a bunch of Ali, like AliExpress stuff. Um, so I got this top. I'll put up pictures of me wearing them too so you can kind of see it a bit better. Um, I actually ended up getting my money back for these I think because like <laughs> I mean I'm pretty sure like most of the stuff on AliExpress I know it's cheap, but I'm pretty sure it comes from like Chinese district like sweatshops or something like that because I don't know. I feel like <laughs> if you're low on like funds and stuff, like it's better to not shop at places like that. Like anything that like comes from China because their workers probably aren't paid properly. Like if you don't know where it comes from, probably shouldn't buy it. But as you know from my breakdown video where I talked about how fucking poor I was, <laughs> the only reason I have this money is because my friends were nice enough to like give me money for my birthday which is really nice so I'm trying to get the I was trying to get the most I could for like the cheapest like price possible but yeah if you can definitely avoid getting stuff from AliExpress but this is where I got it I'm gonna be honest about it <laughs> I know where I get stuff from and I try to like try to work out where the stuff comes from because I want to be ethical about my choices but if you are ethical a lot of the time it does cost more just like being waste free you think it's gonna cost you less and in some cases it does in other cases it doesn't but i try to go like plastic container waste free as well so you just do the best you can with like the money that you have i know it's really hard so don't beat yourself up about it but yeah anyway moving on to the actual haul sorry to go off on a tangent there but that kind of stuff is like important to me and i do i am aware that you know you shouldn't buy from places like this and fast fashion is the devil and whatnot but I got rid of um a lot of I got rid of I'm not even gonna say a lot I got rid of my whole entire wardrobe um which I think I've explained about briefly in other videos I don't remember which one so I'm sorry about it um but yeah so I'm replacing a lot of stuff and trying to do do it cheapest way possible I guess uh, another thing you can do is like getting secondhand. I do have a lot of secondhand stuff as well, but most of the stuff I bought brand new online. Yeah, so I got this like mesh top. I got a blue one and a pink one. Um, 
it's it's funny though they're the same size but like they're not consistent so i think the neck is bigger on like this one and it's like skinnier on the other one i don't have the other one with me because it's in it's in the uh wash but i will show pictures of me wearing it um but the arms i'm pretty sure are longer in this one the neck is bigger in this one and there's lots of like frayed like um seams and stuff like that so it's very touch and go if you're buying stuff from ebay or online like um depending on where you're getting it especially if it's cheap in some cases you really do get what you pay for it's not that great but i mean they're good enough for like photos and stuff and maybe i would wear it out if it was if i had like a top over the top or something like that but yeah whatever so yeah i got this <laughs> and i also got a blue one as well and i'm pretty sure i did get my money back for these just because they were so poorly made like there were literally unfinished seams in it and stuff i mean nothing you can't fix but like i said if you're buying for somewhere like that it's kind of expected it happens whatever um but yeah so i got two of those the pink one and the blue one um this one i was most excited about uh, I got the Alien palette. I got this from Princess Polly. This was um, from my mum, so my mum gave me money and this is what I bought out of the money that she gave me. Um, the one that I just showed you before, those two tops. Um, most of the little stuff that I got from AliExpress, I used um, birthday money from my friend Pete that he gave me. So I bought, because I asked him, I asked, what would you prefer me to do? And he's just like, you know, do whatever you want. And I was like, I think I'll just buy a bunch of like small cheap things. Like I'll just buy a lot of small cheap things. You know just because i wouldn't usually get this kind of stuff um so that's what i did but this is what i bought out of like the birthday money that my mom gave me so thank you mom i really appreciate it because i did need like all new makeup colors so this is the alien palette i did do a review slash swatch thing if you want to see that video click around either here or there i can't remember what side it's on but it'll be on one of those sides there'll be a little note thingy <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, am I anywhere near you? I don't think I'm near you there, really. Oh, I'm not that I'm close. Talking about, I'm talking about the, uh, the length from near right here. Oh, no, <laughs> it's like, it usually is like right at the top of the screen. So like here or like there, somewhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got the Alien Palace. So if you want to see like more in depth of what that looks like. Oh, Beerus is so cute. She like, I'll show you, I'll show you later in a vlog. I'll, I'll also link the vlog like somewhere around here. Um, but she does this cute thing where she like puts herself in the blanket like she does it herself it's really cute but anyway yeah thank you mom I got this um, palette so now I I also have the jawbreaker palette I got that palette because I'm trying to think of ways that like I can get the most bang for my buck and that is like a rainbow palette so it has like all the colors you kind of need I'm actually wearing it today in case you're wondering this is like four colors mixed together so it would match my aesthetic <laughs> um, but yeah so i got that and then i also got this because it has like different shades again and i do also want the mini controversy palette but only when it gets re-released with the um unnamed green shade in it that's the one that i want because i do like the purples and the blues in there but i really wanted it for that emerald green shade so i got this one because again it has like the foresty greens in it because i really like the color green um, and it looks really nice on eyes, plus I have like greeny blue eyes, so it really brings out my eyes, I guess. And it also has black, which is why I got this one, because the uh, Jawbreaker palette, the only colour it doesn't have, is black. So that was my um, thought process in buying this one as well. Plus it's got a lot of shimmers in it too, like golds and silver. So I'm pretty much like all rounded, um, except getting that mini controversy, which I hopefully will get eventually. Um, that is a goal of mine. So yeah. Alien palette got that with mum's money. So I, I might as well just show you the rest of like what I got with mum's stuff. Um, I got these socks. So these are from Killstar. I think they're called like Under the Stars socks or something like that. Can't remember. They these were the most expensive. Like it's just because shipping costs so much. Like I even got like money off because like, I use honey, not sponsored, but you know, sponsor me honey, that'd be really nice. because um, <laughs> I use it a lot. Um, but yeah, so I got these, uh, I guess knee-high, the knee-high socks, they look really cute on and I'll like put a picture somewhere of me like wearing the stuff, I guess. Did I get that hat with my birthday money too? I don't think so, I think it was just a... Did I get bun bag? Yes. I reckon I did get bun bag you and did. the hat with my birthday money, I reckon no, I, I did. did. You did get that. I reckon I did, can you get bun bag? So that was, an, I don't remember whose money I got it. I think it was mum's money. So I think I had a little bit left over. 
Um, but I got bum bag. Um, because it's a bunny and it's like a backpack. So this is bum bag. He's really cute. Um, it just looks really cute like on your back. Like I don't really know how to show what it looks like without putting it on. But yeah, it's really cute. So this is bum bag, which is kind of like a play on words of like bum bag, like that you wear here. But yeah, he's just really cute and you can fit like keys, like phone wallet keys in there. And, that's like, probably about it, and that's yeah. probably about it because it's, it's very small it's not a very very big bag i've actually bought another bag since to like i can put my drink bottle and i can put my uh selfie stick that i never use i need to use that more yeah. i think it's more just that i get so embarrassed filming in public because i just i don't do it all the time so i feel like when i get used to it eventually maybe i will use it a little bit more but yeah it fits more stuff in the other bag but this is the one i used to use all the time are you able to go into my cupboard and get the black out. It's on the left hand side down oh. the bottom. You should be able to see it. It's pretty big, but I'm pretty sure I got that too because that was when we went and got cake that day. I'm pretty sure I got all that stuff that day. So um, yeah, we went out for my birthday. I think uh, it should be in my 2019 vlog, um, which I will link, which will be somewhere. I don't know. I'll link it here. Hopefully, I like edit this video after. I edit that video. I've got a lot of videos saved up that I just haven't used. I'm trying to be more productive this year. 2020 is a year of being a little bit more productive and just like filming more like, filming more stuff and then just working on more content. Okay, so I'm just gonna pause the video for a sec just to make a quick segue because I felt the need to explain myself. I'm going to start adding dates to all of my videos so you can see how long it actually took from recording them to edit them and upload them and obviously share them everywhere. I have a job as well as chronic pain and mental health issues, so sometimes it's really overwhelming for me to stay on top of my content as much as I want to produce it. I also have so much anxiety about putting out something that's mediocre or not putting enough effort into my appearance, like i.e. not wearing makeup and like my clothes and hair and stuff. Like, I just plain don't feel confident or good enough some days. I know it shouldn't matter, but others can be so cruel and it's really disheartening. I also want to try to be less of a perfectionist and not so pedantic about how I look at videos and just film them because I think it would make me more productive as a whole. I have so many ideas, but I put off doing them for all of those reasons that I just explained. Sorry to rant, but <laughs> I feel the need to explain myself in my absence. I'm so sorry. But yeah, so I also got this. Okay, got a little, little doodad in that. Okay, but yeah, I also got this hat. Um, yeah. Yeah, and this is the first of like these hats that I found that was uh, polyester, so like it's not made with wool. So a lot of these kind of hats are made with wool, but yeah, so it's like this. I've got pictures of me wearing it, I'm sure I'll post it somewhere, whatever. But yeah, I also got this hat as well. I think I just got the, like both of these from Kmart, I'm pretty sure. And I think I remember getting underwear and socks or something too, mm -hmm. like just cheaply. I think I got something like that. And that was when we were in town and Julian bought me a cake. And it was really nice. <laughs> Maybe if I can find the footage, I'll like put it like a little bit like in here, but yeah. So got that. I'm pretty sure that was with mum's money. Um, I think that's, oh, I also got this as well. I got this. <laughs> sweater this sweater is actually like very very oversized i probably should have got the next size down but i do kind of like oversized sweaters but this was from aliexpress and this was from mom's money as well because i wanted to match it with those socks um and it matches really well so yeah i got this as well um yeah so that's all the stuff that i got with mom's stuff wait you bought me this didn't you mm -hmm. I think that was the same day. Yeah, Let's just include that too. So I, I still haven't worn this and I really should. It's just one of those really weird colours that doesn't seem to go with anything. But it's a Sailor Moon hat and it's really cool and it has Sailor Moon on the back embroidered. Like both of these are embroidered. And I got these. So this is official merchandise because it is from JJ's and they're an official licensor. So I got a lot. I have a lot of Sailor Moon stuff. But Julian got me that that day. So I guess that was like partly another present too. Mm -hmm. Julian spent all her money on me that day because my cake was like, what was it, like $60, $50 or something like that? Almost $60 for like a cake and it wasn't like, it was, good it was really good. It was like made by this guy called Nathan Bakes. <laughs> Shout out to Nathan Bakes. Um, but he's an all vegan like pastry dessert chef and his stuff is like really amazing. 
yeah, it's like really gourmet stuff. Um, so the cake was like, my favorite cake is like vanilla or um, red velvet. Um, and because he, and I also really like lemon meringue stuff or like lemon curd. Um, so he did a vanilla cake uh, with lemon curd and like vanilla frosting as well. And it was like pastel colors and it was really, really cute. And it was really, really tasty, like <laughs> really tasty. Like I, I crave that, like I want that again. <laughs> like it was so nice. Um, yeah. Okay, so I guess we move on to the stuff that I got with like Pete's money, I guess, for my birthday. And then I'll go to the Christmas present that I got from Julian because I didn't really get Christmas presents from like anyone else. Like my family's like pretty small. My mum got me like a few things. She got me like chocolate and stuff. Um, yeah, I think that was it. And she gave, she gave me money as well. Where did I end up buying? I think she gave me like fifty dollars or a hundred dollars or something. Don't know what I did with it. Maybe I bought groceries or something. Or something because they're probably mm. nothing that exciting. I don't remember. Oh. What should I buy with it? So you were gonna buy the Sailor Moon shirts, but you didn't buy it. Like ah, I was. I was gonna buy the Sailor Moon shirt. That's right. I got those shoes. I got those lace up shoes yeah. over there. Um, I got lace up shoes. What else did I buy? I think, were these from Big W or Target? Um, these were either from Big W or Target, but I always wanted a pair. They're kind of like the leather look, they're not leather, um, but the leather look like chunk. I love chunky heels um, and they're just like lace up like ankle boots that you can wear them with practically anything because they'll go with practically anything. But I got those with that money. So thanks mom. That was my Christmas present. So we've moved on from birthday, even though I'm going to go <laughs> revert back to birthday again. I'm just trying to remember everything. So thank you so much for all the people that have spoiled me. It's made me feel a lot better about being poor and never having any money to do anything. Like today I was stressing out in the car before we left because I was trying to work out like all the stuff that I need to get, like I need a vacuum cleaner because ours just broke. Um, I need, I needed to get coolant for my car and wiper blades. Like I'm worried that my car's gonna break down again. And <laughs> so I was like paranoid about it. And like all this stuff is just expensive. Like the vacuum cleaner is gonna be at least a hundred, like just over a hundred dollars. And then like coolant is like 40 to $60 or something. Like it's expensive. Coolant is bloody expensive. Um, yeah, so like, <laughs> And I just didn't have enough like money in my account. Like I've got all these different savings accounts. I'll probably make a video about that at some point, like how I save, like how I've managed to save money and like how to save money on like a really small budget and stuff. Like you just put, the key is like having multiple accounts and just putting a little bit away. Uh, yeah, I'll show that in a sec. Just putting a little bit away like every week, like a tiny, tiny little amount that you like don't even notice into multiple accounts and then eventually it builds up and then you're like, oh, I have a hundred dollars and I can like spend it on myself or whatever and yeah. So I was trying to work out how I was going to divvy everything up to like be able to afford this stuff. So I was like calling my house and I was like, when do you get paid? Because he's going to pay me like half and stuff. But obviously I got, he bought him a bin and a couple of things today. So he's going to pay me back. But yeah, I wish that I didn't have to worry about that kind of stuff and that I didn't even have to think about it. I could just get in the car and go and get what I need to get. But life doesn't play out like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, so I got those. Um, that was a Christmas money thing. <laughs> I also got this thing. It's like a head massager. I probably can't use it right now. I'll, I'll do it on Julian because he doesn't have his hair up. But yeah, it feels nice, doesn't it? It's just really it's nice. Like tingly. It's like tingly. It feels like somebody running their fingers through your hair or something. But yeah, it was like I, I got that. I think that was like five bucks or something like that. Um, I can't remember what else I got. I think I bought socks. I'm always getting socks and underwear. Socks and underwear is like the best gift <laughs> like ever. I think. And I remember like every Free year. Shop. I remember everything at like like every like Christmas year. Mum would always buy us socks and underwear and it was like the best thing ever because I feel like it's just one of those things that like, people just like won't buy like of their own accord I guess so it was nice like every year to know I was gonna have all new like underwear and socks I guess I don't know it's that sad that like I would look forward to that like I don't know living no that living that poor life give me those underwear and socks um yeah so 
birthday stuff again so this was this was what i bought like on this is all this kind of stuff that i bought from aliexpress uh with my friend pete's birthday money that he gave me i think he gave me like 50, i think it was like 50 dollars or something like that i think um but i got this like cute little um case which i put bobby pins in um but i just wanted a cute little case like i like this kind of like floral pastel pink design for my room and stuff like just to hide all the things so there's not just like crap just lying all over my desk like it's kept all nice and neat and cute um so yeah i got that um i bought this wig which i'll i'm sure i'll i've put up a picture somewhere where i'm wearing this wig but i got this wig um when i first got it it was just like it was pretty trash wasn't it like it looks yeah, it looks a lot better now i had to really fix it and like style it because like aliexpress wig it was like 16 dollars or something like that you get what you pay for i mean you can even see it in the bag like you can kind of see like the um the wefts like you can see like the back of your head and stuff so it's not very thick and like luscious and full or anything like that and i had to cut the fringe and kind of style it or whatever i wouldn't particularly wear like this wig out but it's good for photos and stuff um you want to you want to be spending at least 60 to 100 dollars or more for like a decent wig but i used to buy wigs on ebay all the time and it's very touch and go sometimes you get really good ones sometimes you get you know poor quality you get, you get what you pay for it's very touch and go sometimes i've spent 15 dollars on a wig and it's been really good so i don't know i guess it just depends on what you get but yeah i got that um i got a bunch like well i got two i wouldn't even say a bunch i got like two headbands i got like this uh cute little devil horns like headband <laughs> it's like made with like felt i'm pretty sure um but yeah so i got that and it's got like this like mesh kind of sparkly material so i got that and then this was a disappointment i'm pretty sure i got my money back on this one um because it was meant to be like pastel colors so like pink and purple and stuff and it came like orange and like brown and stuff like i still used it i used it in a photo i'll post that somewhere in here um but yeah i ended up getting my money back from like from this because you know false advertising or whatever but it is a crown it's cute <laughs> so yeah, i got that too i just wanted to get like accessories and like i said the most that i could get for the little amount of money that i had I also got these glasses these are pretty cool oh it, it makes the light look really cool too but yeah i got these red hot glasses because they match like a lot of stuff um that i have so they're just like this plastic really cool <laughs> um yeah so i got that uh, i got these two chokers so i got this whoop, this pink one if i can get the thing to turn around <laughs> but yeah so a yeah, pink choker with a cross on it and then i got a black one as well yeah and i got this little red little red crystal heart choker thing kind of matches that <laughs> um and then i got this which is kind of hard to show so i might just show a picture of it but it basically goes around your neck and then it's like a corset lace up kind of choker um yeah so i got that as well and it's funny because i'm pretty sure pete complimented me on this crystal but it's a like quartz choker i wear this a fair bit so it's like a quartz crystal choker uh but yeah i actually got that out of his money so yeah you're welcome pete you like it but yeah i got it with your money for my birthday so yeah um i think that was all the little stuff that i got plus those two tops obviously that i showed at the beginning so yeah that's that i don't know why i'm putting that stuff in there because it doesn't belong in there um so i guess we'd start on the christmas stuff now i don't know how i'm going to get it but okay um do you want to do me a favor and just put that back in my room with like this as well and can we hang these back up in my room Okay, let's drag this over. 
it is a very, very big bag, but Julian practically spoiled me. Essentially what he said that he did was that he would just get stuff when he found it and he just kept it, like stockpiled it basically until it was like Christmas time. <laughs> I feel really bad because I got him like one thing for Christmas. I'm like, I'm gonna have to start doing that, like just buying stuff when I see it and then like saving it until Christmas time. But I also like the idea of just getting people gifts like when you have the money and like when you see them. If I had more money, I'd do it more often, but you know. Um, yeah, so let's start with everything that is in this bag. So, I don't know if you guys know, but I really love Shirley Barber from when I was a child. Um, my mom, I remember, used to make my bedding and like pillows and all that kind of stuff. And she would buy the material and she bought like a whole bunch of Shirley Barber prints. Like, so like the fairies and stuff like underneath there. And she like my, made my whole room it like my curtains and everything. Um, yeah, so I got this. Uh, so Shirley Barber's bedtime stories with the CD, but the CD is missing. Uh, I actually want to do um, in on my ASMR channel. I want to do bedtime stories, and I want to read um, all of these things. So now I can actually put them away because I've been like waiting to do this whole video. He also got me this one, which is the Enchanted Woods one, but it actually comes with the CD. This one. Uh, yeah, this one I was like really impressed by it and I can't believe that like, he found it because it was weird because I was talking to him about I think he actually brought it up. I thought I did, but yeah. apparently not. He was asking me about these dolls that I have, which were the Vigos dolls. Um, I have three already that my um, auntie Crystal gave me, um, but they're out of the box and he managed to find this one in the box. Like the box is obviously like a bit damaged and stuff, but this is Red Riding Storm. Um, these were really popular maybe back, I want to say I was like 16 or stuff, so we're talking like, oh god, 90s. <laughs> like almost a, almost a decade ago these were like really popular, um, I guess in the 2000s these were really popular. They're basically like a brat doll, but they're very, very goth and like alternative looking, um, so yeah, I got... He got me that. Obviously, like I said, the box is a bit damaged, but I also kind of want to keep the box just because I don't have the boxes for the other ones, and it's nice to kind of like remember like what it looked like. Um, if you ever want to see like my doll collections or anything, or any of my collections at all, um, feel free <laughs> to uh, like this video and leave it in the comment below that you would like to see that and I'll talk more in depth about all the dolls and collectibles and stuff I have because I've got a what I call a spooky shelf and that's where I keep all this kind of stuff um, like Monster High and all that kind of thing so yeah I got that I was pretty impressed that he managed to find that apparently he found that at Savers which is like a thrift store here pretty sure there's Savers all over the world so you probably you know what I'm talking about but yeah so you got that from Savers so that's pretty awesome like that i think these go for about like 100 to 130 dollars like online so that's pretty good and some of them are even more expensive than that so that's pretty amazing if you ask me uh next thing we can finally put this stuff away now i'm so excited um but this is a little zelf mushroomy cute little thing so if you guys don't know i collect the zelfs which are people always call them troll dolls i get that they kind of look like troll dolls because of the hair but everything else is just so cute and lovely and i really don't like trolls but i love zelfs is he gonna go grab one He's gonna go grab one so you can see what they are um but this is what a zelf is um i have a whole bunch of them like inside i used to collect them back when they were popular you can't get them anymore um obviously you can find them like online some places but they're made by moose i think it's moose yeah, yeah moose yes. entertainment so they're moose entertainment toys um and i've got a whole i've got two whole cabinets full of them um yeah but he also got me the little like he got found me the little playset thing and i already have one which i think you found that for me too didn't you the piranha yeah piranha. yeah so it's like a little piranha like not piranha uh, Venus flytrap fly plant. Piranha? Piranha is a fish? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so he got me this as well, so that like kind of matches. I think it's like part of the same kind of like set or whatever, or like around, made around the same time. Do you want to put that on the other side? Put that in there. But yeah, so he got me that. Um, 
this I don't know where the heck it's gonna go because he's got me so many of these but it's the My Little Pony playset um yeah so I pretty much have almost all of these because he bought me like a whole bunch of them and this is another one and I don't know where it's gonna go like I'm looking at the shelf and I'm just like like I want them like I do want them all um but yeah I don't know where it's gonna go so it's I don't even know how to explain what it is my little pony it's like a little candy candy store or something like that but yeah so he got me that I don't know where that's gonna go I really really don't <laughs> What else My Little Pony did you get me? Oh yeah, got me this um, My Little Pony like carriage, it's like a little mermaid carriage, like it's really good condition too, it's like really pearly, like what's this from? 2009, so that's like a decade ago, like that's in really really good condition. Um, I also have another carousel but I have it with the pony still that a friend from like ages ago got me. Um, yeah, so he got me that as well, I think it's like for the little mer pony things probably as part of place that um there is a, a website called my little wiki and you can find out like where all the collectibles that you own came from and like what year and what they were actually called cool. and then you can try and get like pictures of them and stuff and i also would recommend uploading pictures if you can or like contacting the admins or something if you do have pictures that they don't have up there because it's great for other collectors to be able to utilize that as a tool so yeah if you have my little pony stuff definitely check that website out and upload your stuff there or contact the admins if you can't um yeah so that's how i find out like what everything is and like what generation it came from and like how old it is and you know yeah so yeah what else My Little Pony? So you got me a bunch of My Little Pony stuff. So like I said, he always finds like My Little Pony like merchandise? Is that the right word? There's another word for it, like... I feel like it starts with a P. No, I feel like it starts with a P. My mind is thinking propaganda, but it's not propaganda, it's like... Oh god, leave it in the comments below if you can work out what I'm trying to say but like yeah so it's like basically My Little Pony like merchandise essentially um so you got me these like My Little Pony like sandwich containers they're by Zach so I'm pretty sure like I'm pretty sure when these came out I'm pretty sure we stocked them at Woolworths so yeah those little container things so that's cool I like finding anything that's got like My Little Pony like on it or is official My Little Pony merchandise so you got me those this I thought was really cool. It has all the pieces in it. And the stickers too. Oh, and the stickers as well. It's like a, it's a puzzle and sticker set. So he got me this as well, and it has all the pieces in it. Did it say like what year it was made? Didn't it say it was on here? Two thousand three. So that's like pretty old too, and that's in like really good condition as well. So he got me that. Uh, this was really cool. He got me uh, these My Little Pony playing cards, like they're actual playing cards, but check this out. Like, they're not just boring playing cards, like, they're actually the characters, like, on cards. It's so cool. Like, that's wicked. <laughs> I have, like, a magician friend, I'm like, oh, like, because he always does, like, card tricks and stuff, I should, like, <laughs> should be like, you should get this deck and you should do it with this. But yeah, so that's really cool. I also have the trading cards as well, which he got me as well. Well, he didn't intentionally get it for me, but I said that I wanted them, so he gave them to me. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so what else? This is a My Little Pony with a CD book. When is this from? Uh, the first, this edition was published in 2009, so that's pretty cool. That's also like a decade old, but a lot of this stuff is like quite old now. I mean obviously I have stuff from like the 1980s and stuff as well in my collection but that's still pretty cool. Um, yeah so Pinkie Pie's special day. Let me that as well. I'm running out of room here <laughs> already. No, I don't want to put it down there. Only the Shelly Barber stuff's going down there. I'm gonna put this. Oh yeah, the other ones too. Yeah, I already done them. I put them down there. I haven't done the big one. Oh. That's coming. Be careful with that one. Um, he got me this mug. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, I remember seeing these as like an easter egg thing, like there was like an easter egg like inside it. I think that's what these are from. 
Um, but yeah, so yeah, so. 2000, 2006, but I swear I remember seeing these like in like supermarkets with like a like egg on it. So I think that's what it's from. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, he's on the Bismarck. That's not me. I think I've got a, another cup as well in there. They're very small one, yeah. Yeah, a really tiny cup. Maybe we can have a pony this one. Ah, so he got me the My Little Pony, uh, the movie VHS. So that's pretty cool. So this is from 1986. Um, I also have like the um, box sets and like some of the other movies and stuff as well on DVD, but not the VHS. So that's pretty cool. If you ask me. <laughs> what else? Oh uh, yeah. So he got me these. Um, do I have one? So I thought I had one of these. But yeah. So they're basically just like books. Yeah. Books? Yeah, like books. Level one reading. Yeah, let's read. So they're like level one and counting reading them. reading books or whatever. My Little Pony books. Yeah, he got me those. I thought I had some already, but they might be different. I've got like a lot of My Little Pony merchandise. So and I have a lot of books and stuff. But yeah, so he got me those. Is that all the My Little Pony stuff? I think it is. I think that's it. <sighs> Bless you. All right, I'll just show you this next because it's like not related. Um, but I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's anime wall scrolls like up to the ceiling. Um, but he got me a another animal anime wall scroll, so I'm probably gonna put that over here actually. But this is Bleach, which I've never seen, but I thought it was cute that like it's like Jasmine likes anime. He never watches anime with and me. And I know about it because it's a video game. But. He Okay, I guess he knows about it because it's a video game, but it's a Bleach um, wall scroll. I've never actually watched Bleach. If you like Bleach, please leave in the comments below that you are a Bleach lover and tell me your favourite character and why I should watch it because I haven't actually seen Bleach yet. Um, maybe I'll do a video about like favourite animes and stuff. Um, maybe I'll do like a monthly like animes. But then I'd actually have to watch anime more often. And I never do because usually, like, it's a nice thing, you know, to just relax with your partner and watch some anime. But Julian doesn't like anime. I've tried to get him to watch anything. It's not that he hates it. He just, you think it's boring or something. You just can't get around it. I just don't get into it. You just, yeah, you just doesn't. He just doesn't. It's not boring. It's just. Yeah. So it's a bit sad. So I would watch more anime if not for Julian. But when I spend, I spend most of my weekends with Julian. So. And that's when I have most of my free time, so we usually watch other stuff. We watched The Witcher, that was really good. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. It was very good. Um, yeah, okay, so more Shirley Barber stuff. So this was the other book that I got. It is a... Just, <laughs> you could really hurt somebody with this, it's really heavy. Um, but it's got puzzles in it. Um, I'm not going to open it because it will fall out, but um, I'll, I'll try. Is that a puzzle? Can you see that? Yeah. So they're puzzles and they're all put together, but if I am too heavy handed with it, they will fall out. Um, but it's like a whole, you can obviously see like the pages of it, they're all puzzles. So that's pretty cool if you ask me. Actually, that would be so good for one of my ASMR videos is to like actually do the puzzles, like read the thing and then do the puzzles because it makes nice sounds. I really wanted to get into ASMR. Hopefully I can do more ASMR this year. I have to at least upload one new ASMR video to that channel this year. Like I'll set myself that small a goal and maybe I'll actually do it. Um, I really do want to have, like now that I've got so many Shirley Barber stuff, if you want to see that collection too, let me know. Um, I do want to get another cabinet just so I can do that, but it's just not, it's not big enough. The where I live is just not big enough for all the stuff that I want to display. Um, yeah, he also got me this. What is it the rainbow? The rainbow fairy. It's by Shirley Barber. I love Shirley Barber. <laughs> um, yeah, so he got me that as well, which is like a hardcover book. I wonder if it's the same as the other ones. No, it's not. It's a little bit different. Okay. And this I thought was really cool, and I don't even know how he managed to score this, but. It's a Shirley Barber like dinner, like TV dinner, like stand thing. <laughs> I guess it goes this way, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you just sit it on your lap, but it, it's Shirley Barber, like it's legit <laughs> Shirley Barber. Like, 
What? I didn't even know these existed, but apparently, apparently they do. Apparently it's made in China, so it might not be legit, but yeah. I mean, it's just, that's just where they manufacture everything. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it doesn't have like any LTD or anything, and it doesn't say like, you know, courtesy of like this. Oh, it does say five mile price though on it, so I don't know. Yeah, like, like they, they, makes all of these. they could have just taken the print. I don't know whether it's legit. Tell me whether it's like actually legit because I thought that was like really cool. It's really cool regardless, even if it's not like. You know, what are the chances of finding something like that? That's just so obscure. Like, that is so obscure. Maybe Spider Man or something, but. You know, like, yeah, something that's like really popular, but like Shirley Barber, like, that's back in the day when I was like five years old, you know? Like, we're talking like the 1980s. Like, that is so random. I do remember that her stuff was on a lot of things, though. Like, you could get material, like I was just explaining, but you could, um, my mum used to do up my room, so she would do my curtains she would do all of my bedding and stuff so that my room would be all like i would pick a thing like i had tweety at one point i was really obsessed with tweety bird um mini mouse she did it and then she also did the shirley barber one as well when my whole room was just shirley barber stuff so it wouldn't surprise me if this could have existed she was really popular back then um i don't know whether my thing just stopped recording it did okay <laughs> hang on Oh, did it? No, it didn't. Oh, it hasn't stopped recording. It just maybe it used up a bit of space or something. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it's still recording. I hope it is. Um, yeah, it says it still is. Um, but yeah, so there was that. So that's all the Shirley Barber stuff. <laughs> I also love Del Toro Quest. So this is more like in my teens or whatever. But it's a Del Toro Quest How to Draw Del Toro Monsters book. I have a whole Del Toro Quest collection if you want to see that. Um, and Julian said so I should draw more because I'm good at drawing apparently. And yeah, it should be your art books. Yeah, I, sh I, I haven't draw. I used to draw a lot when I was like growing up and a teen, and then I just kind of stopped because I felt like I wasn't good enough or was too lazy or like felt like there were just so many more people that were better than me, and I don't know. I just stopped doing it, I guess. So. Yeah, I really admire like other artists and stuff though, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool because like, I didn't even know that this existed. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to add that to my Del Toro Quest collection. I'm running out of room on this table. Um, we got one more thing. Me. I could have sworn you got me more Monster High stuff. Was it just the one thing? Yeah. Oh. Maybe I'm just thinking because of all the other stuff here. But it's a Monster. I like Monster High as well. Um, so this is just like a little like keepsake monster high box thing it's really cool because it's got like all the characters on the outside so that was pretty cool but yeah that is the last thing that is my christmas slash birthday haul from last year maybe i'll do this every year or something because then you have more stuff and it's like more interesting maybe like i don't know i don't know i just thought that was a cool idea like just to kind of look back on all, this, all the gifts that you got from the year before it makes you feel less shit <laughs> about being poor and never having anything but yeah looking at it all it is like actually a haul like there's so much stuff so yeah so that's my haul and i hope you enjoyed it thanks for flying by if you liked this video make sure to fire up that like button and leave me a lovely comment and remember to subscribe to be part of the flora flight because i would love to have you here and yeah till next we meet Bye.